Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Mathematics Parshala. Now we are going to solve a problem of partial differential equation from CSI and May December 2023. The problem is from part B. Question ID is 704044. So let's see the problem. Here we have to consider the Cauchy problem for the wave equation this delta u delta t2 minus 4 into delta u del x2 is equal to 0 where x belongs to minus infinity to plus infinity and t is greater than 0. With these initial conditions, u x0 is equal to this and del u del t x0 is equal to x into u to the power minus x square where x belongs to the set of real number. So we have to find from these four options which one of the following is true. So the given wave equation is we can write as u t t minus 4 into u x x is equals to 0. This is our given wave equation. Now we can compare this with the wave equation u t t minus c square u x x is equals to 0. We know this is the wave equation. With the initial conditions, what? That is, u x0 is equal to fx and u t x0 is equal to gx. So, comparing this, we get c is equal to because here we get c square is equal to 4. So we can write c is equal to 2. And here u x0 is equal to fx. So here we can compare this with the given u x0. That is we get fx is equal to e to the power minus 1 by x square. When x is not equal to Zero. And if x is equal to 0, then we get fx is equal to 0. Again, comparing this with the given del u t, del u del t x 0, we get gx is equal to x into to the power minus x square. So now to solve this wave equation, we will use the real numbers formula. So what is real numbers formula? Here, real numbers formula is real numbers formula. That is, uxt is equals to half of f of x plus c t plus f of x minus c t plus 1 by 2 c into integration over x minus c t up to x plus c t g y d y. So now we can put c fx and gx here. That is what we get in previous. So here c we get c equals to 2. Comparing we get c is equals to 2. So here it will be f of x plus 2t plus f of x minus 2 plus 1 by 2c c is 2 so it will become 1 by 4 Integration over x minus 2t up to x plus 2t. And gx we get x into e to the power minus x square. So here it will be y into e to the power minus y square dy. So here we can write fx we get e to the power minus 1 by x square. So it will be 
e to the power minus 1 by x plus 2p whole square plus e to the power minus 1 by x minus 3p whole square and it will be as it is 1 by 4 into integration over x minus 2p up to x plus 2p y into to the power minus y square d. So here we get our u x d. So see here in the four options we have to find that limit t tends to infinity u 5 t. So here if we put phi in the place of x what we get? We get we get u 5 t is equals to half of e to the power minus 1 by 5 plus 2 t whole square plus e to the power minus 1 by 5 minus 2 t whole square plus 1 by 4 integration over x minus 2 t sorry here we will put 5 so integration over 5 minus 2 t up to 5 plus 2 t y e to the power minus y square dy now finally we have to find that limit t tends to infinity u 5 t so here we will take unit and what we get here if we put here if t tends to infinity then this denominator will be infinity and we get 1 by infinity so it will be 0 e to the power 0 it is 1 and here also when t tends to infinity the denominator is infinity so this part will tends to 0 e to the power 0 will become 1 and when t tends to infinity here the limits will become minus infinity to plus infinity y e to the power minus y square dy now here let's see this portion will become 1 plus 1 half into 2 it will be 1 and here let us take this portion that is integration over minus infinity to infinity y to the power minus y square dy. So if we write it as limit tends to infinity minus c to a integration over uh, y e to the power minus y square dy. So from the properties of definite integral what we know? We know if fx is an even function then integration over minus a to a fx dx will become 2 into integration over 0 to a fx dx and when fx is an odd function then minus a to a integration over minus a to a fx dx will become 0. So here it is an odd function and so it will become 0. So here this part will become what? 0. So 1 by 4 into 0 it will be 0. And here the raised portion is half into 
1 plus 1. This is 0. So, it will become half into 2. That is 1. So, our answer is unit k tends to infinity u 5t is equal to 1. So, option 1 is the correct option. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you everyone.